How are you doing today? Good. How'd you find out about me? I'm just curious. I found you brought you by Mr. James Song. Ah, okay. Yes. I always see him um doing film and yeah. I've always want to, I always want to do some film. Um actually that's what I want to venture off into. And um I've been asking, you know, how do I get in there? How do I get my foot in there? Because most Artists like me, especially in Sarasota, don't know, don't have a door in, don't have a foot in, don't know how to do or how even start, how even to start doing it, you know. So that's that's why I asked them. Yeah, and he, yeah. he he named you immediately. Well, you know, uh, it's it's very sad because um, I'm from New York. You know, I have mm-hmm. a, I have a New York company, and I just have a company here in in Florida now, and it, it's pretty sad because. Um, over here, I'm fighting to try to get a, a the a film and tax incentive passed. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, because the studios are staying away from here. So when you have people that don't want to film in Florida, then it makes it difficult for people like you or, or Sump James to do their acting. So um, yeah, a lot of my recommendations that I told him and I tell you is that if you want to act, you got to do everything possible, whatever is here in Florida, either it's commercials or theater, to try to get your face out there. And then as you do that, then you it's up to you to hit up every casting director that you can think of. And it, mm-hmm. doesn't, and it doesn't matter if they're from another state, because we live in the Internet now. Yeah. Uh, where you could do auditions... On the screen, like now, you know, and then they'll send you the sides, and you do it, and you send it. If they like you, then hey, you know they'll they'll do a callback or whatever. If they like you, then they fly you. Yeah. End of story. Exactly. That's how how it is. So I told them, don't short yourself in thinking, wow, I'm stuck in Florida, and that's all I could do. Um, you have to go where the filming is. I suggest that I suggest to people that they need to, you know, travel a little bit, go to New York, uh, see what's out there, uh, mm-hmm. go to California. You know, unfortunately, you heard the stories. Actors move California; they go to New York because that's where the acting is. Yeah, yeah. A lot of my um, fellow actors have moved up there to New York. Yeah. A lot of them. And, uh, you know, it, it just makes it difficult for you. Are you doing theater, I suppose? Yes, that, that, that's what I do mostly. Um, I've taken um, not a break because I'm, I don't know if you're of the West Coast Black Theater Troupe, but um, I'm doing a show that they wrote that they wrote with me in it. Um, it's a one-man show called uh, Big Sexy. It's about Fats Waller and his um, story. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. See, once you do something like that, you need to invite everybody. Even if they don't go, invite them. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. You know, and get on Twitter, Instagram, and just, you know, a little short passage. And invite people because that's how it starts. You, you need to PR yourself. If you don't have a PR person, because in this uh, early stage of your life, uh, it costs money to hire yeah. one. So... A lot of people do their own PRs, you know, and you got to hit up everybody you can think of. I mean, if you th- if you hear stories like Vin Diesel, for instance, his calling card was a short film. He did a short film, and Steven, Steven Spielberg just happened to see it. And then he, he loved the film so much that he cast him for Save It, Prime Ryan. It was a small part, but this is where I, I keep telling Telling people it was a, he directed the film Steven Spielberg, yeah, and he was in the middle of this great cast of people, and he dies in a movie Vin Diesel, which everyone remembers all the time. The Italian guy that got whacked, yeah, 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 for not listening right to the commanding officer. Mm-hmm. Everybody remembered, and then from there on, his whole career took off and look at him now right so is that- you need to do something like that you could even look i do short films too you but- know big directors do short films 
you know, Spike Lee still does short films. Yeah, I would love to do a short film, even if it's just me doing a walkthrough, <laughs> being, a, being an extra. I don't no, care. No, I, I would I'm, love to do it. I'm saying for you to write one and do one. Oh. Yeah, write one and do one. I, I encouraged some James. I, I told him that, you know, because he asked me. He goes, oh, you write your own stuff? I go, yeah, I do. I wrote a lot of stuff, you know, and um, – it's just part of being creative. But do I have a writer on my team? Yeah, I do have a screenwriter, a, a few of them, you know, uh-huh. that I go to. But I like doing my own stuff, and I let them tweak it or change it or do this and that. Uh, but that will make you more powerful and make you stick out more if you – look, a lot of the if, – if you ever watch the Oscars, uh-huh. they have a category for best documentary, best short films – Best mm-hmm. short film animation, right? Uh, Kobe, yeah. Kobe, Kobe Bryant won a, an Oscar for his animated film, and I think that was like less than five minutes. You know? So a lot of people don't realize if you do a short film and you get it out there, um, it could qualify for an Oscar. And then. Great. I, I, I'm going to do that. So look, it, every page that you do in a format of screenwriting, is equal to one minute on film. So the smart idea is to keep it about 10 minutes, 11-minute, 10-minute short film. The reason why I say that is because the film festival, or rather show five of them (coughs) back-to-back, 10-minute, 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 as opposed to a 45-minute short film. Yeah. Because it's time-consuming for them. And they really like to look at the short films, you know. And that, you know, you could put yourself in it, too. 